Hey kids, welcome to lesson 16, functions with return values, debugging and multiple return statements. Having multiple return statements in a program can lead to a tricky situation. You may use multiple return statements, but it makes it easier to introduce logic errors into your program. We're going to look at some examples of functions with return values that include logical errors and debug them. The goal is to recognize common errors with return values now so you can avoid them when you're writing your own programs. There is a logical error somewhere in the version of maxval you're about to see which uses multiple return statements. As a result, the function works correctly for some inputs, but not all of them. You'll need to inspect the code to understand what the issue is and make changes accordingly. In particular, Look closely for conditions that are not currently handled by the program. We have it do this, run the program and identify the errors generated in the output, inspect the logic of maxval to identify the logical error, correct the logical error so the function returns the correct value for all of the inputs. Well, let's take a look at our code first before we run it. I have three console.log statements the minimum of 2 and 3 is, and it looks like we have maxval 2, 3. We have another one that says the maximum of 5 and 1 is, and maxval 5 and 1. And the maximum value of 8 and 8 is maxval 8 and 8. Our function down here says function maxval. If number 1 is greater than number 2, then we're going to return number 1. Else if number 1 is less than number 2, return number 2. This is just looking for the maximum here. It's either going to be smaller than or something else. Let's run a program and see what happens. Run. Maximum of 2 and 3 is 3. That one is correct. The maximum of 5 and 1 is 5. That is correct. The maximum of 8 and 8 is undefined. Hmm. That one deals with this statement right here. And what the problem is, I think, is it's saying... 8 isn't really less than or greater than 8. It's actually equal to. So it really can't process it because we don't have the right math function down there. If we look down here, our else if says if num1 is less than num2, return num2. Well, I think one of these I can change to put an equal sign to. That means if it's 8, 8 is greater than 8, it's going to look at it and say, uh, I don't know. It's going to go down to our else if. If we have an equal down here, then it will return the number eight. So no matter what, we'll get the number eight returned here. What I think is gonna happen here, if number eight is greater than eight, we're gonna return num1, else if num1 is equal to or greater than num2, we should return num2. In this case, it'll go to the else statement. If we set it equal, it should return num2. Let's see if this will work. We'll do our greater than or equal to. Now, if eight is equal to eight, it'll return number two, which should be eight. Let's see if that's what happens. Run, two and three is three, five and one is five. The maximum of eight and eight is eight. So that is working. What was our issue then? Our issue was if the numbers are exactly the same, it is neither greater than or less than and that will cause an undefined error. So we just had to add an equal to, and that fixed our code. Looking back at our do this, we ran the program to identify the errors. We inspected the logic of max value to identify that logical error, and we corrected it, and all our inputs are now working right. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.